Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you in thanks for the way in which you lead us, support us and sustain us. Thank you for the way you are with us in every situation that we face. At Mutley, you have taken us through a difficult period. And we give thanks for the way in which you have led both Nick, Sally and ourselves to come together in working for you in Plymouth. In the words of Hebrews 10, let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, encouraging one another. May your guidance and protection be with us all as we move forwards. As we hear, read and see in the media, many stories which concern and trouble us. We give thanks for the comfort and guidance which we find in your word. We remember the words of Psalm 139. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like day. For darkness is as light. Father, we know that there are many areas in this world which you have entrusted to us, which need our prayers as well as action. We remember that you are committed to justice and peace for all your people. However, we do especially lift to you the family and friends of Sarah Everard. May they know your love and comfort. We also lift to you the many members of the Metropolitan Police who may feel very let down and betrayed by one of their own, as they continue to do their best to keep all people safe. We thank you for the work of all those in public service and pray that they will be not only adequately rewarded, but will be respected and supported in what they do. We do lift to you the work of the police chaplains and the Christian Police Association. We pray for those we know who are also grieving. We think of Jenny Wells and Louise Beck. And in the quiet, can each one of us in our hearts lift those that we know of? We pray for those struggling with their ill health. We think again of Sheila and Dave and ask that you will bless both of them as they move forward with you. We particularly think of families at this moment who have been facing the joint demands of homeschooling and homeworking. We pray for a smooth transition back to schools. We pray for difficulties experienced in family relationships, particularly those known to us. Lord, may your light shine in these areas to bring understanding and love. On this Mothering Sunday, we pray for Mother's Day in many countries. May we see your love for your children reflected in a mother's love for her child. And may those for whom this day is more sad than happy, may they know the love and joy of parenting in the family of God. Father, we thank you for your church worldwide and in this city. And we thank you for the opportunities you give us to be salt and light in your world. Serving those, especially those who don't yet know who you are. We thank you for the ways in which your church is working as one in your name. We especially lift to you the work of Plymouth Street Pastors, waiting to resume normal patrols, but taking the opportunity to support the pop-up church's ministry to the sex workers in Mill Bay. And here in Muckley, the service to the community offered through many people and organisations involved in The Bigger Table. Father, we pray for ourselves and our own needs as we strive to be the best that you know we can be. Help us, Father God, to see you in the needs of those we meet this week. Amen. <laughs> 